Okay guys, uh, riding on the coattails of the uh, data-driven subscription video, I'm going to go ahead and film something else that I get asked all the time because it's not really obvious. <coughs> Let's say I'm in SRS and I want to deploy a report or a set of reports in a project that I've written, right? And I get this question a lot from beginners because they're like, well, how the hell do I deploy a report? It just doesn't, it doesn't show me anywhere, right? So the first thing you need to do is you need to right click on the project name up here, in this case, a data driven demo, and then go down to properties. And you see here it says target server URL. You enter in an HTTP uh, type address and you give it the address of the report server. Okay, so it's uh, HTTP and then box name slash report server. Now, how do you find out exactly what that address is? Because it, you may have a special config, right? If you come in here in the uh, config manager for SRS, you can see here that we've got the web service URL. Down here, it'll give you the web service URL. This is what you want to type. Now, it always specifies the port, right? So it always gives you colon 80, but that's the default port. So if you're running a default config, you don't need to specify that. So over here, when I, when I configured that in the target server URL, I didn't have to put port 80 because that's the default. But it goes ahead and puts it in here anyway in case you have a non-standard config, right? And of course you can click on this and it'll take you to the report server. Uh, if you want to connect to a different box or if you want to make sure you're connected to the right box, just come up here and hit connect and connect to the proper box. Bam, and then come down to web service URL and then you can see exactly where uh, you need to where you need to connect to. And you can even try to connect to it from here. It'll bring up a browser window and just make sure that you have the permissions that you that you think you do right and uh, after that so after I get this configured here I tell it okay then I right click and say deploy and it's that simple it's gonna go down and deploy that it's uh, this is a, a single VM so we're you know uh, deploying to itself so I don't really know how long it's gonna take it'll take a minute or so uh, but in the wild on real servers it, it's not super fast but I've never known it to be unreasonable either I mean it's it's not super fast but it's not really slow either it, I've, I've always had good luck uh, deploying reports in a reasonable amount of time so let's just sit here and wait for this actually what I'll do is I'll pause the recording and come back here when it's done okay we're back and that didn't take very long at all so you see right here it says deploy one succeeded, zero failed, zero skipped, right? But you also look up here, you've got a warning. It says, cannot deploy the data source DS master because it already exists and overwrite data source is not specified. <coughs> so if you haven't deployed, I mean, if you, if you haven't changed your shared data source, then all is good. You can go on about your business. It doesn't care. It just means that it didn't deploy it again, right? But if you did make a change to it and you want that to be pushed, then you've got one of two choices. You can go into... Uh, you can go into the uh, into SRS from the web and you can delete that data source which is the long way around right or you can come back in here you can right click on this guy uh, go to properties and up here where it says overwrite data sets and overwrite data sources let's go ahead and t change that to true right and that should do it for us let's go ahead and redeploy there we go and this time uh, we deployed the report, we deployed the, uh, deployed the data source, and we got no warnings at all this time because uh, we told it to overwrite it by default. And there you go, that's really all there is to deploying reports. It'll automatically deploy every report in here. If you've got special things going on in there that uh, like images and whatnot, it'll deploy all them too. So anyway, that's it. Take care.